it's, it's very tight on my head. Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, then go to Keith's channel, 93 Lumber. Subscribe to him. Then go to the Nerd Sense channel, Sean and Mike. Subscribe to them. Then come back here and watch this. Unless you're watching it live, then stay on. I don't know. Stay on and then go afterwards. And then go afterwards. <laughs> so I just introduced everyone, but do you guys want to introduce yourselves or... Sure. So as Kyle said, I'm Sean from NerdSense. <laughs> and then I guess we'll go down into the... Or... I'm Mike from NerdSense. Uh, I am Keith from 93 Lumber. Keith, have you ever explained in public why you uh, picked that name? Um, we don't have to do it now. I not, just have to remember if you've ever talked about it. Not, not specifically. I, th I, think, I think when people ask... Yeah. If it's like a like a short conversation, I just say, "Oh yeah, it was like a joke thing from Beer Tuber Palooza." Like, I like last, it. Whatever. I like it. Um, all right, yeah. So we're doing a beer review. We're, the four of us are pretty excited right now because it's Friday, but also because we're doing virtual EBF Extreme Beer Festival, and uh, so we all got uh, the boxes. Um, so we have all the same beers, and we thought we should do a beer review before the festivities start. So we decided to do this one. I decided to do this one because it's only bottled today and then we can cap it and finish it later versus the cans. Um, Mike, did I say something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Technically we have a uh, different beer. That one Why? bottle is different for all oh, of us. Oh yeah. And because I'm jealous. The... I'm particularly jealous of oh. Sean's bottle, so. I, I so, would not agree that we have the same beers. Sorry. <laughs> we have the same – well, we have the same beers, just one is a different vintage. Yes. And Mike got jacked in with his vintage. And so did Keith. And so yeah. did Keith. We have the same vintage, actually. Then again, we kind of got shafted because we didn't get a 2007. But I don't even want to know what a 2007 would – it probably just doesn't – it's probably not good. It's probably gross. Oh, no, I'm sure it's delicious. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, – the one I got oh. in this box is older than any of the ones I'm aging. So oh, that's, nice. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Cause so you could do a vertical. I could, Cause... yeah, then die. <laughs> what are you going to say, Keith? Sam, Sam from Dogfish had specifically pulled those from his thing, right? Yeah. That's what he said, like, yeah. From, yeah. Like, what's his seller look like if he could just pull, like, who knows how many tickets that they sold at this thing, but it was able to pull just, all right, let's just send them out. Yeah. They have, if I remember correctly, touring dogfish said they have like in their warehouse a big section. I think that's Sam's uh, stash, and uh, they pull from that. Yeah, when because I, I I did a couple of tours when I was there, and the one they pulled out some old uh, worldwide stouts, which is what I was pulling for. I'm like, oh man, I hope they pull these, and they did. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. That's awesome. Um, speaking of stouts, yeah. <laughs> transition, yeah. Um, well, we're today we're doing shorts brew, uh, super delicious stout, extreme beer fest edition, stout aged in Iron Fish Distillery, maple bourbon barrels, and uh, I think it's seven point nine percent ABV. Uh, I guess shorts notoriously doesn't put ABV on their stuff. Yep. That's what I saw on. I want to say Untapped had it. Yeah, I remember we looked when we did the unboxing, and then we were kind of shocked that it was so low. I think yeah, it's lower than that though. I what's, in, what, what's the ABV? I think it's 7.9. That's it? Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if it's extreme, but it's <laughs> weird. Or it's like different. 7.2. It, 7.2? It, 7 it, wow. Yeah. Where did you see that one? I think I put Beer that out. Oh, I just Googled. Oh, okay. It, yeah, on the, um, on the uh, virtual booth for Shorts Brewing. Uh, super delicious stout, extreme beer fest edition, twelve ounce bottle, seven and a half percent. Oh, okay. Then. So I found seven point nine. The the beer advocate <laughs> saying seven point two. The extreme beer fest part of beer advocate says seven point five. Well, I found twelve eight. To be fair, what's that? I found twelve point eight. Did you really? No, I'm kidding. I'm fucking. <laughs> you, you son of a. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do a mic. I need to have some beer. So. Yeah, that's fair. It. Let's do it. 
So uh, are we only going to do a, a proper two ounce pour because this is a festival review? I was going to. Mm. Yeah, me too. If if this was live in person, we'd only have two ounces. <laughs> Cheers, man. That's midnight. Go too bad. <laughs> but what's up? Thanks for the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I have I have a I have a funny story about beer fest pours. Um, the, oops, I went a little over two ounces. What they usually weird. do at a beer fest, you know, pour a little bit more than the wine. So, so uh, the first beer fest I ever went to, the the glasses were pint glasses, and like there was like there wasn't like a line that they were supposed to pour up to. There was like just like design on the thing. And like I think by the end of the beer fest, they were just like pouring like full pints to everybody. I got I got so Jesus wrecked. I, I got I got that was yeah. I can yeah. imagine. That's not good. <laughs> That's not yeah. <laughs> With these, I end up getting wrecked. Yeah, so, especially yeah. at Extreme Beer Fest because a lot of them are higher ABVs. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I'd never seen anyone pour these. They always pour. Yeah, it oh. usually goes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, right. yeah. This is how much beer they'll pour in to like rinse out the glass before they then pour in their beer. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. So it, it is a little brown, which makes me think it probably is that lower ABV. Yeah. It's not quite dark enough for making me think. Oh, it's probably double digit. Yeah, it's got like an amberish hue if you look at it in the light a little bit in yeah. the bottom, but yeah. Oh yeah, I don't like I don't like these glasses or these <laughs> plastic cups. But no, no, no. Are, are you holding it properly though, Keith? Like, get a hold of it with the thumb, and that's where you get like the proper like. Oh, 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 oh I see. That's that. That is everything. <laughs> well, because of the because of the bottom, how the bottom is, you have oh. to like tilt it oh. in order to oh, like, yeah. see through the. Yeah, yeah, it has that kind of yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it kind of looks like kind of looks like a like a really like. Uh, um, like root beer, root beer yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's a good point. All right, let's see if it smells like root beer. I mean, that smells nice. <laughs> no, that smells that does not smell like root beer, but it smells delicious. That's lovely. You do right, get Sean, some. I, I, no, never mind. I was gonna make a bad joke. Go ahead. Well, you get the maple for sure, and for being the vanilla police, I get a good level yeah. of vanilla coming out of this. There's like a fudgy browniness to it too, and almost like raisins. Mm -hmm. On looks, like I said, I could see this being a lower ABV version of a barrel aged stout, but the aroma, I, I'm completely fooled. This this could be anything. Yeah. Ten to fifteen, I would be like, yeah, I believe it based on how rich this aroma is. Yep. All right. Anything else to add about the smell, guys? No. Cheers. 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 Man, for how spirit forward it w is in the nose, I'm getting almost nothing. I get a booziness. I don't. Like generic booziness, or you're getting like alcohol taste, or like. Almost like. If someone said not bourbon barrels, but said whiskey barrels, like like you know how whisk like if you, if you had like a whiskey aged like a whiskey barrel stout, like usually it has like a, a bigger bite. I don't know. I'm getting more booziness at the back, at least. Yeah, it's it's uh, it, yeah. How do I want to say it? It's it tastes like kind of like I'm not. Like obviously, I'm not saying this, but like it tastes like a stout that they put a little bit of whiskey in, mm. kind of, kind the, of, like yeah. It's, like uh -huh. it's it's not, it, it, yeah, because you don't really get any of the wood or anything. It's just like this, like whiskey spirit thing. Then though, that's the perfect, yeah. That that makes sense. The maple's there, but not like not in your face like it is on the nose there's like some some like chocolate is in there too the mouth is the the, the mouth feel is thin but i think but given the abv i'm yep. not complaining that's to be expected yeah. um but it leaves this nice kind of like chocolatey charcoal like kind of 
aftertaste. Hmm. In the best possible way, it does drink like a session version of what I expect. What, again, when I hear a barrel aged stout, yeah. Sometimes, like a, a session IPA doesn't, or maybe oftentimes doesn't scratch the IPA itch for me. This, I think, scratches the itch enough. It, it doesn't mm -hmm. have the, the. I mean, at no point is it syrupy or, or is it you know overly fudgy or <clears throat> those things that a, a bigger stout can kick out. But it does, like you guys were saying, it does have some of those notes I'm looking for in the style, though. Um, I can see why most breweries brew a bigger, more viscousy beer to then barrel age for this. But um, I'm okay with this beer. Mike is about to say the opposite of everything that has been said up until this point. Go, Mike. It's not good to me. It has it's very, <laughs> yes, nailed it. It's thin. It has no body. Uh, it tastes like a bland brown ale that uh, once laid next to a whiskey barrel. Um, I get a decent nose but on the flavor. I'm getting kind of just like cardboard. I'm glad you said brown ale. That that totally. If I was doing this blind and was guessing the style, I probably would say a brown ale. Yep. Versus, yeah. I mean, this is a brown ale, man. In or, my opinion, this is a brown ale. Yeah. If you compare what Mike said and then what Keith said with like, uh, take a brown ale and then instead of it just being sit sat next to a whiskey barrel, someone put a little bit of whiskey in it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I like the flavors though, but it, I, I hmm. okay. But I do agree. No, with I, like, I like it for what it is, ABV wise. Like knowing that 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 I'm not going into this giant stout. You know what I mean? Like for what it is, yeah. This this, this works. Like, and I imagine Keith, this is probably better than that uh, barrel aged non non alcoholic stout you had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That uh, for for those who haven't watched it, that that beer basically tasted like you know the French vanilla coffee mate. It yeah. just it just tasted like that, like coffee yeah. with that in it. It was it, it was kind of cool, but it was not really beer. So, yeah. wow. <laughs> a couple comments. Just don't want to forget about anyone. Two ounces at a time, multiple times. Yeah, that's yeah. that's going to be the the big plan, I think, for the evening. Um, hey guys, what's up, Douglas? Hey, Douglas. Hey, Cheers to Douglas. Yeah, definitely, definitely check out Douglas. Just finishing my mystery beer after this. I will drink a CBS. CBS. Does that eating breakfast there? <clears throat> so, got it. Um, and you? Does Does anyone know how long this was aged? In, in, I, I uh, think twelve barrels? months. Oh, really? But if this is the Extreme Beer Fest edition, though, right? I copied and pasted what Short's website says about this beer into the description for this one. Oh. Um, twelve months. 12, I'm sorry, 12 glorious months in Ironfish Maple Bourbon Barrels. Okay. I mean, the, the thing is, I'm getting like a chariness, but I'm really not getting much before that. It's some vague sweetness. I like the nose a lot. The nose is nice, but I feel like it's just like sort of like, meh. For me, I mean, I, I'm glad it worked for you guys. Um, like, I mean, it's just even for 7.2. If this was like 4.6, I'd be happier. Like, it's even at 7.2, I don't feel like it's <laughs> worth the alcohol that I'm drinking. I, it's just me. I'm not trying to show it's free. It's just. The, um, I just read the barrel history is kind of interesting. Bourbon barrels, take out the bourbon, maple syrup, take out the maple syrup, bourbon, take out the bourbon, then this beer. So maybe you're losing some notes. Like you would think this is just going to add even more to the beer, but maybe you are losing some of the characteristics because of how much they've been used. Mm, that's a good point. Uh, I've only read the first four words of this, but I assume it's going to be making fun of us. Mm -hmm. All the headbands, old dude, calf, scraggy, beards. Bears or beards? Because you could mean both. And total differences from feet to feet. This feels like this beer review was produced by Wes Anderson. <laughs> I did not disappoint, Matt. I did not disappoint. 
they look like girls with a beard. <laughs> Uh, yeah. If I grow out a beard, yeah, okay. It's, I was, yeah, yeah. Took me uh, a second to put that together. Vienna style lager. Three out of four people on this stream are interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, four out of four? Or did you say three out of four? I think I said three out of four. Yeah, that makes more sense. happy. <laughs> 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 All right, time to stand in the treehouse line. <laughs> the one EDF I went to, their line was like stupid long. They had velvet rope wrapped around. And then as you were waiting in line, they came around with pictures of Julius just so you could have something while you waited in line for whatever else they had once you got up there. Yeah. Julius. Isn't Julius like 7% or something? Yeah. Or is that the like, or is. I think so. I always get them confused because like some of them are a little lower. Yeah. 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 It was, I I don't, they had like a barrel age something. They had some more extreme, but then they just had some of their normal beers. That was very much just a, let's keep these people as, uh, as least amount of anger as possible. I guess (laughs) by waiting (laughs) online, here's some Julius. The way, the way you do it, Kyle, is you need to go with other people and then jump out of line, go other line, keep going back in. That's what, that's what, uh, while Sean was waiting, waiting in line, me and Kerry kept jumping out to get beer at other tents or other <laughs> boots and jump right back in. Like, nice, these, nice. Little, like these little rats scurrying around. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, I miss real, be- real, real beer fests. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this scratches the itch somewhat. Uh, yeah, I think it will. They got the videos for each beer and then they're going to do the live stream, answer some questions and talk about it. So, I mean, it's, I don't know how they do a better job of a virtual beer fest than what they seem to be trying to accomplish tonight. Yeah, no, I agree. There's, there's no other way that they could have done this other than having each brewery like have like invent like a two ounce can and they send you like 70 two ounce cans. (laughs) (laughs) Evening all the way from England across the pond. As some people say, not me. But oh. Well, people. you just said it, so you do say it. Well, Actually, I was quoting someone. It's okay to oh, you okay. can say whatever you want as long as you're quoting someone. Else. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a good little life hack. Sean, they could uh, instead of cans, they could do like pods, like two ounce like pods. Yeah. Like uh, like kind of yeah. like. Kind of like months. wine in a bag, oh, yeah. except like two ounces. Oh, oh, they could do that. That'd be kind of that would be sick. Then they could even more breweries. How many would explode with the carbonation? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. I mean, that's a good <laughs> well, if they do that next year, we know. Let's hope they don't do that next year. But, but what they could do is like six ounce cans. Those exist. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that could be done. Maybe not seventy of them, but, but the problem with yeah, the problem with six ounce cans though is, or the problem with the, with that form factor, they'd have to have like every brewery, like how many do they have to order? Like you know what I mean? Like right. they just send like 600, 600, Like I don't know how, how that's manufactured and stuff. Yeah, it would make yeah. sense though. That that would be the ideal kind of way to do it to get more beer. From a logistics point of view, I, I'm super curious how many of these boxes they sold. So like how many bottles or cans of each one they sent out and yeah, because it did there? sell out. I don't think so. Yeah. No, it did sell out. Oh, it did. It did. Yeah. Didn't they say there was only like 180 spots, and then I think they expanded it a little bit. I thought. I don't know. I I don't remember. I I might be. I I might be thinking of something else, but I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. My head's too big for this. It's like I feel like I have a hangover headache already, (laughs) but it's just that freaking. (laughs) <laughs> on my giant head because unlike Thomas from the Netherlands I actually am tall in real life uh, are we allowed to make fun of him if he's not I, here to defend himself yes What's that? yes <laughs> okay wait what did Sean say I said are we allowed to make fun of him if he's not here to defend himself I mean I assume you guys make fun of me when I'm not around isn't that what we all do or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. As I'm crying myself to sleep at night, I just assume you guys are making fun of me. 
that's valid. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Honestly, honestly, we mostly just make fun of Sean. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks. But yeah. Sean, accurate. Sean, you're in the same chats. You read the same comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I know. That's why I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Love you. At least, yeah, it's better, right, when it's said to your face, not behind your back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nothing but love. Nothing but love. <laughs> So, Mike, how hard are you going to try to get your wife and brother to finish this bottle? Uh, when Josh gets home, he's going to have it right up his cooler, I assume. He's going to wait until, like, Josh opens the door. And he's going to pretend <laughs> he, he's still doing a review with us. And he's like, this is, like, the best beer I ever tried, man. This is the greatest <laughs> beer. He's just talking to a blank iPad. <laughs> Josh is like, what are, you, what are you drinking? Here, have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You're going to love it. I love it, Josh. That's funny. That's funny. Poor Josh. <laughs> Who knows? He may like it. He, he might. Not if he has a case, but I do want. Mm, no. I think I we mean, have to turn this into like a rate, 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 you know, rating or rankings or whatever. But I, I'll be curious after we've had everything where we put this one. Um, there's definitely ones. That, I mean, I love maple, but I think even today we're going to have a better maple one from uh, Great Notion. Yeah, that one I'm super excited about. Yeah. The um the dogfish. Did you? Was that one you bought or did you drink the one that they sent you? I misunderstood when they said it was an extra beer. I didn't think it was going to be included in the festival at all. So that is from the box. Yeah. And then they, oh no, then you posted the screenshot. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's, oh, they are doing that as part of the fest. I, I, ah. Uh. I, yeah. When yeah. they, their use of the word extra made me think. Yeah, I don't it, know why. Uh, they it called it, they actually called it a bonus beer, I think. What was it, bonus beer? Unless they yeah. meant bonus beer because Dogfish had his sending two. But given that that beer is brand is pretty much brand new, like they're probably like, ooh, this is a marketing tactic for us. Like, let's get it out there and have everybody try it. True. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Was it good? I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, I, I started watching it and then I didn't, then I realized I didn't want to know. Yeah. yeah I, I, I decided. Yeah. So why'd you just ask him? <laughs> yeah. It's because well, I just wanted to know if he liked it. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to know like what it tastes like. I, I would. I would. On a hot summer day, I could see myself buying it and drinking them outside and really enjoying that experience. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, Bruce. Fair enough. Bruce. <laughs> uh, look at that tongue. Hey, Bruce. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> What's he staring at? Uh, my wife left, and he's panicking. Oh. <laughs> He looks like he looks like the meme of like the of, of the dog sitting around and everything's on fire. And he's like, "This is fine." <laughs> he's just so, so happy. He's like, <laughs> "If they made a live action version of it, yeah. it's <laughs> this is fine." Uh, I don't. Really, they might have stopped doing the CBS. I I don't know. Founders isn't on my. They they nice did. Place. I don't know what much. they did. Um. They. They had they have discontinued it and then they brought it back yeah. and they, yeah I don't know where in the cycle they are with that marketing tool. Uh, I'm pretty sure from this point forward Keith needs to wear the headband and I'll review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One he's got the hair for it, you know, it keeps it out of his face, which is a big criticism I have of his beer reviews. Um, <laughs> hair into his beer. <laughs> Unsanitary, keep it wrapped up. <laughs> and in general, just in general, <laughs> wink, wink. Hello, Douglas. Two to four. This will be my second last 2019 and further version. Back in a few. Cool. Yeah, we went back and forth if we were just going to do a review offline or do a live stream. And um, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, Man. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. <laughs> this one's. Beer festing. I'm I'm gonna pour a little bit more. All right, I'll pour a little bit more too. I'm I'm not pouring a little bit more because I over poured a little bit and I want I want to drink a little bit later with the video. Um but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's Mike, like, I'm super curious if in an alternate reality, if this beer was labeled brown ale aged in this distillery's you know maple bourbon barrels 
how much that would change and not just your enjoyment but all of our enjoyment because it is drinking it the second time i mean it really does drink like a brown ale. i mean there's yeah. there's just no way around it so i wonder if like expectation you know how that can factor in i don't know um my opinion though is uh, if it was a brown ale you'd have a more of like a sort of sweet malty backbone yeah. this has like sort of a charriness would you um, go and, maybe, and maybe maybe go what? porter if this was a porter maybe no because i don't yeah i don't see a difference between porter and stout i do view stout, porter um, with... go ahead no, go ahead kyle and not that i'm right i view porters in my mind as smaller stouts which does not make sense because there are clearly stouts that are smaller than some porters but like just in my mind they're like a little waterier they're a little bit thinner but um i don't I don't think this drinks like how I think a porter drinks. I mean, I really think it drinks like a brown ale. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the thing is too is, is the um, like, I mean, to be very obvious, is a stout is a porter, right? It's a stout porter. But the thing is, like when when breweries do a porter versus a stout, it's usually something smaller than their standard stout. Yeah. But <laughs> but if you some breweries, their their porters are dessert boy stouts. And and yeah. any other version of the world, so so I, I don't take either too seriously. I just like okay, well I'm getting a stout, honestly. Um, yeah. This this to me it, it, it is mouthfeel is in 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 very a lot of characters are much more brown ale. Even the look of it, I mean, just a little darker than your standard brown ale, like only slightly darker than Newcastle, you know. Um. um but for me, um. It, it doesn't have sort of like like as much sweetness as a lot of brown ales, and it does have sort of that that charry character you get out of a stout, I guess. But like what I'm getting before that just isn't really wowing, you know. Um, but I mean, not every beer is for everybody, you know what I mean? And I, I you know, um, if this was like see through, Kyle wouldn't drink it, you know. <laughs> uh, Colin, I. I, I... Mike articulated his thoughts obviously very well there, and there's there is overlap for all of us with you know some thoughts about brown ale, brown ale as maybe some porter thrown in, how low of a stout it is. The I think all of us we actually we didn't talk about this. Probably the best part of this beer is the aroma though, right? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, it, I would have it, to agree. It smelled it smelled really good. So I mean, not a not a loser of a beer, but it's also this isn't going to be on anyone's top twenty list. Uh, any of the four of us. Uh, no, no. Um, it's, I, I'll speak for myself here. It's kind of my shtick that I don't know much about everything when it comes to beer. I think it's part of my charm. <laughs> but uh, no, not, not, and not, I'm not knocking people. Same thing like with Cicerone. Like, that's cool. It's just not for me. It's not something I'm trying to pursue, but. We just pretend to be one on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. I, yeah. The opposite, really. All right. Here's someone uh, else. Actually, can, hold on, real quick. Kyle. One of the things that Sean and I, I, I feel like, our stick is, is sort of like two buddies drinking beer, enjoying it together. You know what I mean? Like, um, like, I definitely uh, consider doing those things. I just don't. I would not get anything out of it beyond just being able to put a label on it like oh i'm a bjc it, it doesn't doesn't really it, it won't validate it won't validate or invalidate my opinions you know what i mean i you uh, with beer um and with i mean with anything i guess things are are personal and like the way i feel about beer is is, is gonna be how i feel about it regardless of any certification yeah i think if we took that to the next level both of us it wouldn't be fun anymore because then we'd be way too technical and it just would lose. It would just be, you know, stuffy and boring. Yeah, and but isn't, isn't Reed a BJCP judge? He, yeah, he was, I think. And he's he not technical. Uh, he, he, he's crazy, insane, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's valid. <laughs> well, it's a weird thing where you say, like, not you specifically, but like, when someone says I'm not that or I don't want to be that, that it's inherently judgmental. I think it's cool. It's just not for me. And, yeah. and, I, and I'm glad you said it, Sean, because that's kind of my thought too, is this is 
fun for me. And I think if I made it too much homework, like, you know, then it's like, oh, this isn't, this isn't fun. But there are definitely people who do the same, same exact thing we do, who try to know as much as humanly possible about beer and then bring that point of view to it, which is cool. And that's what they do. And people like it as well, you know? Um, but yeah, no, that, that's not a thing I'm trying to pursue. All right. I think Joe's probably making fun of me or someone. No, he's not actually. I miss the days of the Shelton Brothers Beer Festival where Keith made sure to keep Matt out of trouble <laughs> and want to do nothing more than get high. I don't know that part of the story. Uh, those were the days. <laughs> it's not that interesting. <laughs> but yeah, in person beer fests. Yeah. Up off the 10th. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know the story of uh, the Shelton Beer uh, or Shelton Brothers Fest. Um, after the fest, <clears throat> like Joe and Matt and I, and uh, so I think some of Joe's friends and stuff, we kept going around to bars and like they were packed. It was, uh, I think it was on a Saturday and all of them were packed. And we would try to get like a table or whatever. And, and they'd be like, oh yeah, we don't have any. It's like a 45 minute wait. And like, you, you like, you can't get a beer or anything. And then we would just like go somewhere and like try to figure out what we're going to do. And then Matt would show, Matt, Matt would disappear. And then he would come back with a beer at, at every single place, <laughs> at every single place he would do that. And then, so he drank, he, he kept drinking beers and none of us were drinking. <laughs> For like, for like three places or two places or something. I don't know. I have not heard that story. <laughs> That's what I'm The first beer fest, I think it was the first one I ever went to, was in uh, Syracuse, New York. And afterwards, yeah, we went to a couple bars. So we're blitzed. And the one bar had Utopias. And we had never seen one in real life. And, you know, we were like, how much? Like 20 bucks an ounce or whatever. We're like, all right, well, there's four of us. Let's do two ounces. All right, here's 40 bucks, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, hey, can we take it over there to, where the lighting's better to take some pictures? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we take it over there. We start like pouring more into the glass, like <laughs> huge scumbags. But um, <laughs> I've been chasing that dragon ever since. Like, cause like it was that perfect combination of, it was unlike anything I had. I liked the taste. I was drunk and I was with friends, like just having fun. Like, it was just like this like perfect yeah. moment. And although I've continued to enjoy them and get them whenever I can, it's never as good as that first experience slash taste. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like beer, like as much as the taste like that, the experience is such a huge part of it. Like the atmosphere, the conversation, just like it adds like, like you could have like a relatively subpar beer, but you could have a memory and be like, this beer blew my mind. Then, then, then you have it again. You're like, oh, well, it wasn't that good. So, but, but it's just that first time you're just with certain people. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Even like just at a brewery, sometimes it's like, oh, this beer is delicious. And then you buy a four pack or we take it home. It's like, this beer's all right. Yeah. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. I was having fun at the brewery. I was talking to the, maybe the owner was, you know, yep. guest bartending. He got talking about how they made it or whatever. And they are with friends or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I do miss in person, but this is, this is, this is nice. It, it is. This will do for now until this we can do. all break this out of do. quarantine and get vaccinated. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pumped. I get my first shot Wednesday. Oh, so nice. I'll, I'll be uh, starting to get that Sweet. squared away. No, uh, so uh, thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> this is great. This is uh, great. Hey, maybe Joe's going to save us. What's this? Do you remember that, Keith? Matt was blitzed out of his mind. Then we found one place open that <laughs> yeah. movie that basically wrapped the night. Yeah, end on food. End with food. Always, yeah. always, yeah. always end with food and water. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do miss experiences like that. Oh, this I, is a good uh, one. Good eye. I is that Mark Ruffalo? <laughs> no, but it is his stunt double. Well done. Well done. What's that? Oh, we got a oh nice surprise delivery in Colorado. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, heady all day every day. Mike, you were gonna say something? Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Way to fill that airtime. Very good. Very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't remember. 
it's all good, brother. I'm just busting. Dark Lord Day was amazing. Uh, I never, yeah, I never got to one. No. <laughs> that beer is so expensive, though. It's so crazy how much they charge for that. Is it, I mean, I know, like. Is it Dark Lord? I'm thinking of another, maybe I'm thinking of Assassin. I don't know. The, um. Oh, no, I'm not thinking of, maybe not Dark Lord. I'm thinking of Assassin, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Well, um, for, um, oh, wait, no, now I'm thinking of Top. Yeah, I'm thinking of, um, Toppling Goliath is the one that charges crazy amounts of money for their beer. Yeah. 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 That morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, morning Stout or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, yeah. Like, how, my friend. Isn't it KBBS? No, no, no. Yeah. Not, not even like, this one isn't even like a barrel age. It's just like oh. a, a nice coffee style. But the price was, I mean, it was stupid. And like, wait, how much was this beer? I was like, was it a hundred or four packer? I mean, it was just something crazy. Um, oh yeah, because because they they distro some now, but like before they were distroing, they they would charge like secondary prices at the brewery. Yeah, <laughs> to, get, to get people to not or I I don't, I don't really know what the idea behind that was, but yeah, they would basically charge secondary pricing at the brewery or something like that. Like very new pricing. people would 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 pay for it, so yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing. Yeah, that's crappy. Keith, we call that capitalism in the Western hemisphere. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's super fresh, Hattie. That's freaking. That's rad. That's the, I mean, even for me in New York to get Hattie that fresh is pretty rad. But Colorado, that's awesome. Man. Oh, I I, I uh, picked they, up does some. Uh, take their cans. They do now. Yeah, since they started distro. They, they do when they distro. They do on uh, distro cans. I don't know if they do at um, brewery cans. If I don't which know, I'm, which I don't, is kind of weird because, like, if they're dating the cans, why are they just dating all of them? Like, that seems like a weird. Yeah. Like, all right, date this batch. Don't date that. Don't date that batch. Let's save some ink. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, unless, yeah, because I don't think they're. I don't think they're brewing it somewhere else. I think they no. do. They're they have a very right. large facility. Yeah. Yeah. As I'm drinking more of this, there's a it, the one thing that intensifies for me is it's a little bit more maple every time. It's not, I don't see this beer ever being a maple bomb of a beer, but there's a, it just keeps adding another like little paper thin layer of maple, there's like another little one, another little one. I'm boring, oh. Mike. Sorry, Mike. Give me a talk uh, about the beer. No, no Kyle, I, I got up did my work this morning. And I, I just didn't, didn't. so I'm just tired. Sorry. <laughs> my oldest got this cat for her apartment that doesn't let cats live there so the cat lives with us now and it's a kitten and it wakes me up many times throughout the night i don't remember last night i got a full hour or full night of sleep um so i'm right there with you i drank a bunch of coffee which i never do right before uh, <laughs> i came on this stream to try to make it through tonight so so did she buy the cat not well she, she well she it's like um it was an adopted situation which she adopted uh, a cat. But anyway, I'm sorry, that, that's not the important part. I don't drink coffee, but I'll do this. Nice. Damn, I can even open cans. Man. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what is that thing? What did you just use? That was freaking cool looking. It's a it's a knife with a bottle opener and Whoa. uh shit. That's yeah, cool. Flashlight on it. Is it a flashlight? Yeah, right here. <laughs> What the? That's like uh, a Swiss Army knife, but like for someone who's actually cool, not me in middle school. It has a glass breaker, has a, uh, a cable cutter, it has a flint. How do you charge the cool. flashlight? Is there a battery in it? No, a small battery. Nice. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Yeah. It comes right out and everything. And don't want it to. Oh, sweet. Oh, Joe, I was totally ripped. That food joint was great, though. Oh, and we all chugged a beer there, too, and left my water bottle behind, so I had to rescue it the next day. <laughs> nice. uh, by my defense, who managed to show up for the show interview the next day? Love you, homie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, for the podcast, right? I listened to that. Uh, man, I would love Dark Love Day. Full day of metal shows and top breweries in the country. That does sound pretty freaking awesome. You did show up for the interview the next day, which was impressive, but I had another six hours of Sean Brothers Fest on. Don't got time for podcasts when there's beer to drink, baby. Baby. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, man. That's funny. That's fun. 
Sorry, I'm messing my dog here. I apologize. He's just no, he, my wife he's freaking out. Door just trying to get my dog in. But he sucks. <laughs> he doesn't suck. He's a, he's like, oh, why would you say that? Yeah, yeah. Where are my feelings, Dad? Um, were you guys gonna do the pre-game Instagram thing at seven thirty or? Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's not through the thing. It's actually on Instagram. Yeah, I think they're trying to drive up their Instagram presence. Oh, I don't know. We'll Excuses. See. Facts. I forgot that it defaults to that. I still don't know why it does that. But actually, what happens if if, if I do it? Does it default to that too? How do I stop my? Uh, <laughs> no, you. Your device is not. Well, he can't hear me. Here I'm talking to him. He can't hear me. Or maybe he can. GoPro. We're not advertising for GoPro. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, well, you disconnected, but it did go to the yeah, yeah. And now you guys are flipped, and it's weird. You guys drinking some sort? Oh, I'm I'm just reading the comments ahead of time. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was like, wait, is Mike drinking two monsters? <laughs> Where the hell are? No, just that, I just don't want that beer. Oh, is that a trillium? Oh, look at you, look at you. He Perfect. shows us his pen knife as he's drinking a pen knife. Perfect. <laughs> to be fair, I think I babied every single beer sample afternoon for about 30 minutes. I was right. Uh, are you guys drinking some sort of curated list tonight? Yeah, so it's um, the Extreme Beer Festival that uh, Beer Advocate and Dogfish Head puts on almost every year and then with covid they did a virtual one so um what is it 11 beers yeah 11 yeah, total. Right, 11 uh between tonight and tomorrow night and they, they have like pe the breweries filmed they made like uh videos ahead of time that explain some parts of the beer and there's gonna be a live stream where like it's kind of like you're at the festival and you're drinking a beer and talking to the brewer behind the table um so hopefully it's a good time i mean it, it's set up uh very well in my opinion so i, I think it's going to be cool uh, yeah are, are they live are the are, are the bo booths live the or... booths right now have the video is the first thing like you click on the yeah. board, like okay mortalis so like here's a video about mortalis and this beer and then you can post comments now and they might grab some of those questions for the live stream the live stream is just one screen one brewery at a time um, but they'll look back at those booths and be like, oh, this person asked why, how we pick our fruit for our beers and mortalities. Here's yeah. how we do that. Whatever's on sale or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Should, sounds like it should be fun, hopefully. It's, yeah, it's how can it not be a good time? Uh, if they are pulling this off next year, I'm going to try my best to make it. People are down because they're going last year, but come pull it off. Yeah, I the one time I went, I really loved it. I only live closer to Boston now than I did the one time I went. So I, I would definitely go in person. And, and I, again, don't want to speak for anyone else, but I think after all of this, when we can do do stuff in person, I think people are probably all in. Oh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> if they do this in person next year, for sure. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, Joe, we had like that awesome – you know, beer tuber palooza, and it's like, yeah, we gotta get together, we gotta do more stuff, and then COVID, <laughs> you, um, you know, so yeah, definitely for sure, dude. And I mean, I'm I'm kind of on your way, Joe. So you pick me up on the way, and then I don't have to worry about driving at all at any point. And uh, you pay for my hotel room, which is pretty cool, and uh, yeah, it'll be a fun time. It'll be good. Perfection. Yeah, right downtown Boston, be real cheap. <laughs> But we should do is just get a giant Air, Airbnb for that weekend and just like that would be nice. We could make it like a remote beer to a Palooza beer fest type thing. Beer that fest one day, next day, nonsense. That would be cool. Like, the next day, Friday everyone Friday. crying with hangovers. <laughs> Except me. Yeah, but that's why we the next day we do all, like we start drinking again, and then the hangovers go away, and then we just deal with works. them. At, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good night. You, uh, <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like that would be cool. We go like, to like the Friday night one and then Saturday, it's just us doing our own thing or something. That'd be pretty rad. And then, and then Sunday we deal with the really bad hangovers. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. For sure. No, that'd be miserable. Yeah. yeah. All right. Carrie's beckoning, beckoning for yeah. beer. So I'm going to go get upstairs and I'm going to set up. 
Yeah, I might hang out with Shanice for a little bit before we actually get started. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Seriously, check out Keith at 93 Lumber, Lumber and check out the Nerd Sense guys if you haven't already subscribed to them. And uh, as always, I'm uh, Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for stopping in.